Tonight, we're learning more about a Raleigh man who was shot and killed by police three months ago. Our Colleen Quigley read through autopsies of Sohel Mojarad. She joins us live tonight. Colleen. Yeah, Angela, the 30-year-old's family had been saying for months that he was shot eight times. And when we got that autopsy report today, that was confirmed. An autopsy released Thursday determined Sohel Mojarad was shot eight times back on April 20th. He was hit in the chest, torso, pelvis, buttocks, and thigh. Three of those bullets lodged into his body, three entered and exited, and two bullets grazed him. Several organs were struck by bullets, including his heart. Another report showed there were no drugs in his system. Thursday, Mojarad's family released a statement that said in part, quote, We will fight for justice for Sohail in honor of his memory and to help others. We don't want any other innocent soul suffering from mental illness killed like Sohail was. A Raleigh police officer shot 30-year-old Mojarad in the parking lot of a shopping center off New Bern Avenue. Police say Mojarad pulled out a knife threatening the officer who wanted to question him about a reported theft. Police say Mojarod began approaching that officer, ignoring repeated requests to drop the knife. Each time Mojarod came closer, the officer fired at Mojarod, who died at the scene. I really appreciate you guys being here, and hopefully we'll make something of his life. That night, the officer was wearing a body camera, but it wasn't activated during the shooting. So his life matters. In the days after, Mojarod's family held vigils while friends and activists pushed for answers and accountability. We don't want to sit here and reprimand officers who are continuously doing their job protecting citizens of Raleigh. But for the officers who do not follow the policy, they need to have consequences to those actions. The death prompted RPD to change its body camera policy. Previously, it was up to officers to turn their body cameras on. Now those same cameras will passively record video all the time. Well, that April 20th shooting is still under investigation. And if you want to read the Mojeron family's entire statement, we have that on our website. Reporting live in Raleigh, Colleen Quigley, CBS 17 News. Colleen